have um, this acetyl group to start with. Here comes a malonyl CoA to go in there. It's going to start linking fragments together. It takes this malonyl CoA, the pink and green part, keeps the pink part, throws away the CO2. Why does it do that? We just spent an ATP to add that carbon to make the malonyl CoA. Now we're saying in the first building process where you start linking units together, the first step is to decarboxylate that. We just spend energy putting it on there. Why, why does that make any sense at all? What do we know about... Mm -hmm. oh, you have to build the, the, the chain, right? Yeah, we're condensing units into a longer chain. Mm -hmm. What do we know about um, favorability of reactions vis-a-vis -vis entropy? Do we have a high entropy product here? Well, when you're breaking something down, the entropy, I mean, the react, it's more favorable when you break it down. Right? Yes. Yeah, so we're splitting something off here. That's favorable. Uh, uh, does, and we know that entropy increases in a favorable process, right? So mm -hmm. if we want the process to be favorable, we have to have an increase in entropy. Well, one way to do it is to have an increase in entropy. What do we know about the entropy of solids, liquids, and gases? Which is the gases are more higher entropy. Higher entropy. That's essentially what we're doing here. We're releasing CO2 gas. This is a high entropy product that helps pull the condensation reaction. So essentially, we've invested an ATP energy equivalent in the preceding step to build in a CO2 that we can throw away <laughs> to, to make this condensation step more favorable. That's a common trick in biosynthetic reactions. Anything where you have a decarboxylation step helps pull the reaction forward. This isn't the most favorable step in the world, but having the, having the decarboxylation makes it quite favorable.